What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Nerd Gym Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, so apparently, Mahershala sat down with what we had to say, discussed it with his people. Kevin came over <clears throat> and showed him the money. Now he sounds like he's on the up and up on Blade and what they've perhaps have told them or wrote, written down on a piece of paper. I don't know, Brian. What's your thoughts on Mahershala Ali looking forward to doing this film, which we said, uh, you know, I, we, we, we sort of insinuated that he should walk away from this role and, and let Marvel deal with it. Uh, your thoughts, Brian? I mean, I'm skeptical. Like, I mean, I think actors actors are hype machines. And as long as they're attached to projects, they're going to talk about, I mean, this is a pretty generic quote about things being moving in an encouraging direction and we're going to ramp things back up soon. I mean, there's no real specifics in there. Um, he's still officially attached. So yeah, I mean, I'm not shocked that he would say something positive about it because he's also out promoting um, his other movie that that's on Netflix. Um, so he's not got a bad mouth. What's, what's going on. So I'm kind of like, you know, it sort of feels like standard movie star speak for the time being, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what, what this new writer, Michael Crean, has got some pretty good credits, right? He did like Blade Runner 2049. He worked on Logan. Um, so that's, that's the latest writer who's attempting to crack this, um, solve this puzzle. Uh, I saw some rumors that they were like, what's funny, because remember they, the, before one of the iterations was like a period piece. Yes. And I heard now it's like gone the opposite way. I heard now they were looking at like super modern, like super modernizing his character and his personality to get away from the Snipes portrayal and kind of get away from olden times. I, that's but something olden that I olden times were s modern times when he did it. Well, I think... I think some of the things that I read where they were they were drawing, I guess there's maybe trying to see, I don't know how this is going to work, but I guess from a Herschel, maybe it would be better for him. Like they're trying to almost humanize the character a little bit to give it more range because Snipes was always kind of a badass, right? He kind of had a persona and over mm -hmm. the three movies didn't really deviate a lot too from much. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. it was almost like, you know, kind of like the Terminator with flair, if you will. Uh, yes. at points and then I think with this they're trying to say like you know they've got a two-time Oscar winner so it seems like they're trying to give the character more dramatic range that can be good that can be bad right that we don't know exactly how that would go but that's what I was reading and hearing that like maybe this latest iteration was trying to uh, make Blade more dynamic and more modern and maybe that's what Mahershal's referring to as he's liking that versus the 1920s version that they were kind of trying to go with originally and your thoughts on that direction like i said it can be good it can be bad i mean i think modern modern immediately will draw comparisons to snipes more directly because that was set in the present day correct so both visually tone, the thing is how, totally... how how futuristic are they trying to get because i mean I, I don't know i don't know um i mean the idea of blade having more emotions or having a softer side is risky, right? I mean, that definitely is like, you're really trusting the actor to find the right balance of making us feel something for the character without making the character seem overly soft. Cause this can't be a soft hero. If we stick into his origin, there's not a lot of things that can happen to Blade that would cause him to feel to, to show that sort of emotion, right? <clears throat> right. Um, he, 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 I'm sure he's callous at this point, right? He's just doing what he got to do, right? He's, in, he's going with emotions. In order for that to really sort of help us understand whatever oh. emotion is going through, we sort of have to understand what was, when, what was the last time he was affected by that sort of situation and by whom and how was how does that person remind him of that situation? That's the story that they have to tell in order for us to let us know that this is something of a big deal for him and us believing it. Being that we've seen 
the badass Wesley Snipes, and he hasn't showed that sort of stuff. He, he, he may have showed some sides of uh, empathy, right? Um, but I don't know what sort of range they're going with. With yeah, but it's not like play. you didn't see him grieve. No, no things no, that he exactly. lost. You didn't see him. You know, like his his humor was sort of dark comic book humor, um, and he was always the coolest guy in the room. And it felt like the emotional expression would come more from Whistler, or even in the ill fated Blade Trinity, like Ryan Reynolds or Jessica Biel would do the emoting while Blade was kind of doing the, the slashing and the and 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 the, and the killing. So, I, this would suggest to me that. Eric Brooks is more meaningful to this version, if that makes sense. The, the name that the character ultimately got, the human name, that would suggest that might be more of a part here than just Blade in his costume hunting vampires. Which, see, to me, like I got to be honest, like I think you, I think if they just lean into that and did it the right way and choreographed it the right way, the movie would be successful. If it was hard R. Mm -hmm. um so this is definitely feels like a path of a greater degree of difficulty but perhaps for mahershala ali maybe it is more rewarding if he can pull it off i just remain skeptical because we've been again we've been at this stage five times right clearly with the other writers when they were early on conceiving of ideas at some point along that way everyone in the room was optimistic and then it fell apart so mm -hmm. I'm going to remain skeptical. Like, yeah, it's yeah, very early. Yeah. The new writer just yeah. got there. He just started. Yeah. So if this is his idea, Mahershala likes it, that's great. But that's all it is. It's an idea. The execution and getting it to before a camera and getting it shot and getting it to... It, we're so far from that still. I say still walk away, Brian. And if again, Mahershala, you're watching this, I say walk away. And the reason being is that if you're sticking around just for one, there's really, I mean, you're gonna have to do something epic in order for us, in order for you to to walk away ha being happy with what, you, with what you've done. Don't go, I, I, I'm just saying, don't go into this because you see your, you know what I'm saying? Because you've seen yourself in this role and you want to do this role. Just don't, don't make it like a bucket list. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't, if you want to be Blade, be Blade. Uh, that's what I'd have to say. But, um, well, the track record of projects that go through this many iterations and remain in development hell and then ultimately yeah. get released, very few of those turn out to be great. I mean, that's just yeah. the reality. I mean, it doesn't mean it's impossible, but it, the history would say it's unlikely. So yes, mm -hmm. if you're Mahershala Ali, the odds are against you. Yeah, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of uh, the latest developments with uh, Mahershala Ali looking to continue on. Um, reminded me of a major pain. Keep chugging along, chicka 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 chicka. chicka. <laughs> you know, trying to see if we can keep it going, and I just don't think. Uh, I just think it's they're worth overthinking time. it, Bob. I just think they're overthinking it. Every version that oh, I've yeah. heard rumored feels like they're trying too hard. It's like, oh, we need the 1920s and he needs to fight Dracula. Oh, he needs his kid. Oh, he needs, like, now we're talking about making him this very <coughs> complex, <coughs> complex character with sort of these moral dilemmas. And I'm like, I, I just doesn't seem that hard to me. Like, what am I missing about what would connect with audiences for a hundred minutes of satisfying entertainment? It's him kicking ass, and it looks great. Like, what am I missing? Well, did, did, didn't we just get like four movies of John Wick? This is why, yeah. Like, that's why I said <laughs> I used the raid, but the John Wick example, or like, yeah, if you want to draw movie inspiration, it's like the Clint Eastwood, the Man with No Name. Like, that. Those are the archetypes for Blade to me. Like, I don't know what we're, why we're trying to make this into you know, this sort of Shakespearean type of project. Like, it just doesn't feel like it needs to be that. Yeah. I mean, the hope is that we get to Midnight Suns, right? I mean, the hope is for them to get to Midnight Suns. I mean, for us, certainly, we would love to see it. But financially, that's what they want to get to. You, again, we spoke about it in our other episodes. You just can't be banking on the Avengers. Because what happens... This happens. 
yep. of a possible Avenger movie that's not that's possibly not make a billion dollars because it would not today. What's the point of an Avengers film if we don't have anything? You're not gonna make us care. You're not gonna make us care. Nope. Uh, yeah, that's that's the that's the latest on the Blade and the MCU, man. Because it's like it's like it's like, what are we doing here, man? There's just so many other so, so many well, things that you can look at and be like, okay, we can do this. Let's not get in our own way. It's like they're tripping over themselves, yo. Well, that's why the Godzilla minus one makes them look bad. Because it's like, here's a here's a filmmaker with one one FX artist in a room with under $15 million. And he creates this movie where the, you, you care about the human characters and the monster and the FX look amazing. And you're like, Marvel and Disney have all these resources. And you can't even get like a third of the way there anymore. Like, Brian, if they thought they were hearing it after the creator, they got to be looking in the room like... Explain this to me. How a dude that was wishing he had $15 million to make it look like that. Instead, he did what he had to do with whatever it was. I thought it was like about eight or ten. Um, and they made it look it's like if that's an MCU movie right there, you, Brian. That's easy. I do not get it. Now there is no excuse. None whatsoever. Are you kidding me? This dude say he wish he had fifteen million dollars, and you sitting there with a, a whole organization making a movie for two hundred and fifty million dollars. That's gonna look like crap. Yep, you got it. That is unacceptable anymore. We cannot do this anymore. We cannot. We cannot. And by the way, I heard Echo is looking dope. I heard Echo is is dope, Brian. Oh, I think I think you're I think you're getting fooled. I, I really? Think, yeah. I heard. This is what I heard. The trailer looked good. Yes or no? It did, but then when I heard the specs of the series, I think we'll, we'll see. My diagnosis is this is only five episodes. They're dropping them all at once. I think what they did is my guess is they basically were like, our best bet is to make this series as hard as we possibly can with the footage we shot. We don't really care about the story. So we're just going to make it brutal for five episodes and hope that that <laughs> kind of strikes a chord with people. That, I think you're going to basically be like, tonally or some of the action might be interesting, but you're like, who who chopped this story up? That's, that, that's what I think you're going to see. That's my okay. prediction. Okay. We'll see you next time on Nudge Report. The show goes on! Yeah!